Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. And good afternoon, everybody. I'm Jason Colthorpe. And I'm Priya Mann. We got new information on a deadly fire in Madison Heights, and it turns out the fire was set during a murder-suicide. 24 hours ago, we told you about the fire at a home on Harwood near John R. We know two people had died. Now autopsies show 42-year-old Candace Hawking was stabbed to death by her former boyfriend, Christopher Spicer, who died from self-inflicted stab wounds. Police believe the fire was intentionally set. The investigation continues to confirm all of these findings. We're working the story and we'll have updates starting at 4 p.m. The University of Michigan announcing it's buying the vacant land at the old Kmart HQ in Troy. We've just learned about this within the last two hours. The university buying a little more than seven acres for $4.42 million. The university is now approving this via the Board of Regents. Uh, they have to approve the purchase. That's happening today. U of M Health plans to give this plan a new purpose by building a multi-specialty facility on the property to expand specialty clinical services and increase patient access in Oakland County. Sports are taking over, and there's no shortage of excitement in downtown Detroit. That's right. You're taking a live look at Campus Martius, where thousands of people will be there in just a few weeks, of course, for the NFL draft. But that's not the only thing we have to look forward to in downtown Detroit. Let's get over to our Kim DeGiulio with how the spirit of Detroit himself is getting in on all the fun. Hey, Kim. Guys, the NFL draft, it's happening. At least it better be happening because... He's dressed for it. The spirit of Detroit has an official custom made NFL draft jersey. He's sporting the number 24. Of course, that's for the year 2024. It's a nice navy blue. You can see that's kind of the official color of the draft. We've been counting down for this draft for like two years now. That countdown over in Campus Martius is now at 28 days. So the excitement really building. The main stage for the draft is going to get underway starting tomorrow. That's when the construction process will begin. And you're going to start to see the downtown area start to look really different. Hart Plaza, Campus Martius, uh, and then the surrounding parks, Cadillac Square, Beacon Park. Those are all going to be a part of the draft and construction will ramp up there as well. So we're expecting around 400,000 people to make their way to our city to watch their favorite college college players get drafted to the NFL and is an event that we have never held here before. So a lot of anticipation, but we know that we are ready now that the spirit of Detroit is dressed to impress and we always talk about Detroit being a sports town. It certainly is. We've got the draft coming in 28 days and this weekend, the Sweet 16 right here at the LCA. So lots of exciting events. Downtown is definitely going to be the, sport, the spot to be, especially if you're a sports fan. I'm Kim DiGiulio, Local 4. Seems like it always is. And of course, we can't forget about baseball. Tigers taking on the White Sox in Chicago today. Next Friday, the Tigers return uh, to Comerica for the home opener. And we'll be all decked out for that. Well, don't be shocked if your electricity bill goes up. DTE is expected to file a rate increase request for $456 million. Now, if approved, it would cost customers about $11 more per month. DTE says funds say they need more money to improve reliability and make the grid smarter. It hopes pinpoint power outage locations quicker and more accurately. Better Made is suing dozens of weed companies for supposedly stealing its iconic logo. Yeah, in a lawsuit filed Wednesday, Better Made says it sent out a cease and desist letter and several emails, but got no response. The suit states the logo in question disappeared online, but was still being used in other places. Better Made wants the companies banned from using the logo anywhere. That includes advertising and packaging and financial compensation. Metro Detroit's own chip company has been around since 1930 and the logo has stayed pretty much the same throughout all the decades. Yeah, that's pretty close. Uh, a cop for Detroit Public Schools is convicted in a carjacking. Police say it didn't happen, and we'll explain this. Back in 2021, Dewan Dickerson called 911 saying he was carjacked in Detroit. Problem was, when police investigated, they found no evidence of any crime. However, Dickerson was found guilty of lying to police and falsely reporting a felony. It's not clear what his motive was for making this up. He will be sentenced coming up next month.
It was a no-show for the man accused of selling fentanyl to a Birmingham teenager who later overdosed. Aaron Miranda did not show up for his court hearing Tuesday. He's out on bond, but now there's a bench warrant out for his arrest. Birmingham police believe Miranda sold Jack McCarthy fentanyl less than an hour before he died. McCarthy's family said the teen had anxiety and thought he was buying Xanax. Miranda faces several felonies, including delivery of a controlled substance causing death. He faces life in prison. One of the most popular streamers on Twitch and Detroit native is opening up about a skin cancer diagnosis and wants to help others. 32 year old Tyler Blevins, known by many in the gaming world as Ninja, shared his diagnosis on X. He said a melanoma was discovered after his doctor removed a mole from the bottom of his foot. His doctor believes they caught the cancer early. Blevins wants his experience to serve as a reminder to others to get routine skin checkups. A panel of federal judges signs off on Michigan's redrawn House district maps. Last December, a three-judge panel ordered seven state House districts to be redrawn after it was determined race influenced how they were drawn in 2021. The new map will create three majority black districts where before there were none. The new map will be in place for the upcoming November elections. Attention Canton residents, a major project from MDOT is going to be closing lanes on Michigan Avenue where you are starting April 15th and drivers will see lane shoulders closed on both sides of Michigan Avenue between Haggerty and Hannon. Yeah, and this will be at the I-275 interchange. The right turn lane will also be closed at Haggerty Road. Signals, crosswalks, ramps and sidewalks will all be improved during the work. It's going to be tough to avoid that area if you, you live there. Keep telling yourself the sidewalks are going to be better. Yeah. Everything's going to be improved. Just you got to get through the construction. Right, right. It, it, Ashley, it always seems to be construction season, but uh, what did you call it today? Uh, sprinter. Sprinter. I like that. Yeah, that we were waking up to winter temperatures, but spring-like conditions this afternoon, so we're kind of in that in-between. But as someone that grew up in the Canton area, I'll tell you what, traffic around there is always so tough, so I feel for the folks that that's part of their morning and evening drive every day. Right now, downtown Detroit, as we are taking a live look at Campus Martius, and boy, has it changed since the winter months when the ice rink was out there. 44 degrees in Detroit, 43 in Ann Arbor, 41 in Port Huron, Monroe 43. So we are starting to see those temperatures tick upward, but also the wind speeds. And so we do have breezy conditions with sustained winds averaging out closer to about 15 miles per hour, gusts around 20 throughout the afternoon. As we look at clouds and radar, still flurries flying up into Canada, northern part of lower Michigan and UP, but we've cleared out the cloud cover here. Now we've had some flakes that have been picked up on radar between Chicago in Indianapolis, but we shouldn't see any of that flying this afternoon as the Tigers will have their season opener in Chicago. So the temperature change here, upward swing. About five, if not greater than that, degrees warmer than where we were this time yesterday and plenty of sun across our area. So as we map out the rest of the afternoon for you, we'll top out right around 50, but we do hold on to the breezy conditions, which will make it feel a couple degrees cooler. Temperatures continue to warm up through the holiday weekend. So, of course, we'll have an update on that coming up in just a few minutes and when you can expect rain showers to arrive in your neighborhood.